If you know anything about codeines, you know just how many different types of chemistries exist. Aliphatic polyurethanes, polyamide epoxies, Novolac epoxies, the list goes on and on. Each coating type is formulated using certain resins to achieve general performance characteristics. But how do you know the difference between coatings of the same type? If two coatings are called the same thing and look the same in the can, what makes one better than the other? A two component product, for example, has a part A and a part B, which will eventually be combined to create a single coating. But what's in each component? In this part A, let's say, there are around 10 ingredients a proprietary blend of resin, pigments, solvents, and more. Now, those ingredients come from raw material suppliers that may offer a variety of these products, some that are built for high performance, some that are designed to be more economical. If each material supplier has three or more versions of the same generic ingredient, then those 10 ingredients in Part A are being chosen from at least 30 options. Plus, those suppliers have their own competitors who offer similar options when it comes to these 30 products. If other suppliers can also offer three options for each of these ingredients, then a coating manufacturer has at least 90 different raw materials to choose from when formulating their Part A, and the vast amount of combinations therein. So if the Part B is also created from around 90 options, that means there are more than 180 ingredient options for this particular two-component coating. And if you try calculating how many combinations are possible using those 180 ingredients, well, the answer is practically endless. So how in the world do you know which raw materials, when combined, will result in a high performance coating that can best protect your valuable structure? The only real way to know is to test it. Formulators test the coating during the design phase. Manufacturers test it further after commercialization, and often the coating is tested by third-party companies according to standard testing criteria designed by the industry to determine its true effectiveness. Testing is what demonstrates the difference between this top coat and this one. It can help you determine the corrosion resistance of this primer compared to this one. This is why Tanemic finds it so important that performance testing is the driving factor in coating selection. Whether you're specifying or applying coatings, we believe you should have a solid, reliable indication of how your coating will perform when compared to other products of that same or similar type. Because without testing, how do you know what's really in the can? And that's why testing matters and formulation matters. Because in the end, performance matters.